Hey everybody, Jake from Off-Road Rodeo. Today I'm here with my new Creep Scout 290 frame set that I got from Chain Reaction. Uh, I ordered it last Saturday and I have it on Friday, so six days, uh, which is really good since it came from the UK. I opened it up to make sure that it was in there, but I haven't done anything else. So let's pull this out of here, let's take a look at it, we'll get it unboxed, and I'll give you my initial impression. So I'm going to pull it out of the box. Uh, I have a 5 and 6 mil Allen key in my pocket, just in case, and I have a pair of cutters to cut off the foam, because I saw that it is actually covered in foam and packaging. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually packaged really nicely. Um, they did a really nice job with the foam everywhere. The end of it is protected, and it doesn't feel like the derailleur hanger is on. So it must be in this box back here. So just kind of start taking this off. Okay, so you can see that I have the bike unpackaged. I laid it on the box because I have a cement floor and I didn't think to bring a blanket or something to lay it on, and I use a feedback sprint stamp, so I couldn't put it in that. But here's the frame. You can see it's really nice, like a really nice attention to detail. I got the cement gray. It was this or the blue one that they had, but the blue did not have these red accents. And man, these things, I can't tell if it's the light, but these things pop. I mean, mine is an XL, but you can see just really nice attention to detail throughout this. On the top tube it says AL, has a little design. The cups on the bottom bracket are already pressed in, which I really like that. I think that's really cool. Uh, they're pressed in evenly too, which is nice. You just never know, you know? Uh, the bottom bracket is really nicely machined, you can see that. Looks like there might be some tape in there or something. But honestly, it looks great. Has a mount for a uh, bash guard or a chain tensioner, whatever you call that thing. I don't use one of those. Uh, really super cool, honestly. Made in Taiwan. So a little entryway there to run your cables. Yeah, the new proof logo up front looks really cool. I mean, look at these welds. They're pretty nice for aluminum, you know? You know, it's not the quality of like a titanium weld, but for a $450 aluminum frame from the UK, I mean, this thing is really nice. It only has one, one water bottle mount, but that's fine. Everybody carries a hip pack, and I live somewhere where I should probably carry like a camelback anyway, or like a loaded hip pack. It's really cool. Let's check out what's in that parts box because I haven't opened that yet. All right, movie magic. I already cut it open because I have one hand available right now. So let's see. Um, cool. We have a C post clamp. It says nuke proof on it. Has their little logo right there. Nice little attention to detail. I like that. Let's see. <laughs> we have a bell. I guess in Europe you must have to include one by law or something. That's cool. Put that on my city bike or something. Hey, hey, zip ties. Zip ties that we don't know the quality of yet, but you never know with zip ties. We have like a piece of foam uh, like lining to put over your housing, which I don't know what runs inside yet. Maybe dropper? Yeah, it must be dropper because it looks like brake and derailleur external. So that's cool. So it'll muffle the noise so it won't be clanging around in there. If you're getting rowdy, we got a nice nuke proof uh, chain stay protector, it's Velcro. I like that. I think I read somewhere that this is Teflon or something. Kevlar? I can't remember. Kevlar. That sounds right. Anyway, it's nice. It looks cool. Let's see. We have. Okay, we have the headset. We have a star nut. The headset uh, cap that says new proof with their logo. And then we have all of the frame plugs. Nice. That's really cool. 
I'll pull that headset out. We'll check those bearings out. Okay. All right, Nick Proof. I see you. That's nice. You can see it's kind of oily. It's been lubed. Bearings are nice and smooth. Much better than uh, some other companies from the factory. Nuke proof. Crown race. Oh, cool. It's split ring. That's real cool. I'm glad they did that. Nice, man. Let's see if the uh, bottom feels. Yeah, it feels just as good. That's really super nice. Dang. Well, how about that, Nick Proof? You really, uh, really did a nice job with everything. Nice attention to detail. All the key parts are there. Cool. Well, I'm really excited to get this thing built up. And it's going to be a real ripper. Um, I have a Fox 34 I'm going to put on it. I've been thinking of maybe a bigger fork, but I'm going to try that first and see. I live in the mountains, and it's real rocky, um, but lots of climbing. So I don't want to get super heavy or super slack. I'll probably uh, run at 130. But yeah, I might throw Advent X on or maybe like XT, uh, just depending on cost and availability during these weird times for the bike industry. And I'll probably put a Fox transfer post on it. And then I have some stands wheels, um, but maybe down the road we'll put something nicer on, who knows. Well, cool. Thanks for checking this out. I really like this bike. I'm glad, uh, glad I did this. I think this is going to be a really cool build. Stay tuned because I'm going to post more videos of me building this up along the way so you can see what that looks like. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what the final product looks like. Cool. Thanks, everybody.